winning the MJ Long Prize has it's been amazing. It's it's been rewarding working on a project like that, working for um, vulnerable people, making a care home for vulnerable people who don't have a voice of their own anymore, and to be able to be their voice and um, make architecture for for those people, make make a safe place, make a um, a home for them. That's been so rewarding, and for that to now be um, also recognized through this this prize. Um, been an amazing, amazing feeling. So I worked on the Corum Bloom um, from the very, very first sketch during the competition um, stage up until all the way through to completion on site. So I really did all of the stages throughout the entire project um, in very close collaboration with the client, with also the, the authorities in um, in Belgium. And so that's really enabled me to to have that intense dialogue with everybody and really develop um, a project that is that is meaningful um, and that makes the place that you you want to make for people. So I've done a lot of um, care projects um, in the past, which has been really nice that you see the evolution of the thinking and care as well, because there's been quite a lot of evolution. Um, from sort of larger scale projects still to much more small scale projects where we are now. Um, so I've done that quite a lot. Um, but at the moment, I'm also working on, on many other projects. And one of them, for example, is a um, performing arts center in Leuven, also in Belgium, which is an amazing brief because, again, it's not just about making a theater or a concert hall, but it's actually about thinking how can you open up a cultural institution to everybody? So how can you make sure that also people who normally wouldn't um, step into a theater or a concert hall, how can you make sure that these people um, come in as well? So it's about um, having no thresholds, having public spaces that you can just enter without buying a ticket. And so again, um, it's, it's really rewarding and interesting to be talking to so many people, to be talking to, to the neighborhood to find out what they actually want to see in that project. So that's a very exciting one that's just gone into planning and that we'll be working on for the next few years, I suppose. We've come a long way in, um, in our industry. Um, I think if, if I think back to what it would have been like for MJ Long back in the day, it, it must have been, been so hard um, as a woman in architecture. And, and I do think we have come a long way, but I do also believe that there's still a long way to go. Um, I can see that when, when I was in architecture school, it was pretty much, um, 50-50, female, male. But as I grow older and as I become more senior in um, in architecture, you you do realize that, yeah, there's not as many women around um, in senior roles. There's there's not still on, on construction sites. You, you also notice there's, there's less women around. And so I think um, these are challenges that, that we still need to face. We have to make sure that women can grow within our industry as well. And there's obviously huge challenges also around um, certain, yeah, balances you have to find between life and work, having children, how do you how do you combine that? How do you combine having children and having a career? And I do think that all of us together and, and, and yeah, societies and, and, and government, that there is quite a bit of work to do there still. I think the W awards are important um, to give women the confidence to work and sort of explore all the avenues that are that are open to us. It makes you realize when you sit in a room like that with all of these amazing women that we are we are a really strong force. Um, and it's about giving the confidence and the belief in ourselves to um, to be able to do it. So the W awards are are important to to remind all of us of that.